Good morning, dear students. Welcome to Narayana Online Classes. Today we are going to discuss about uh, vectors of eighth class. In that subtopic, addition of vectors. Addition of vectors. In that, we are going to discuss about four assignment questions. Question number one. Question number one. Explain polygon law of vector density. Explain polygon law of vector addition. Vector addition. Vector addition. Now you know polygon means what? Which means a number of sides. A closed figure. Which consisting of number of sides. Then suppose I can take polygon means for hexagon, pentagon, like this. Okay? Or heptagon also. In that word, a polygon consisting of n number of sides. In those sides, n minus 1 sides, n minus 1 sides. I am telling you as the uh, sides of the polygon in both magnitude and direction. Then the closed side of the polygon taken in a reverse order represents the resultant of these all remaining n minus 1 sides. That's why right. we take the, the help of example. With the help of example. Now, when a number of vectors are represented, when a number of number of then a number of vectors when a number of vectors are represented or are represented are represented number of vectors represented both in magnitude both in magnitude and direction and direction both in magnitude and direction by the size of a polygon by the size of a polygon size of a polygon taken in order polygon Taken in order. Taken in order. Taken in order. Which means the following order. Then the resultant is given by. Then the resultant. Then the resultant is. Given by resultant is given by the closing side of the by the closing side closing side of the polygon of the polygon. See here by the sides of the polygon taken in order, then the result is given by the closing side of the polygon. Closing side of the polygon. Take it in the reverse order. Take it in the, take it in the reverse order. Reverse order. Take it in the reverse order. Both in magnitude and direction. Both in Magnitude and direction, both in magnitude and direction. And direction. See here, when a number of vectors are represented, both in magnitude and direction by the sides of a polygon, taken, taken in order. Then the resultant is given by the closing side of the polygon, taken in the reverse order, both in magnitude and direction. Now let us take a small example. There are 
See here, this is Leva, this is Leva, this is Silva, this is Leva, this is Leva. Now, here we have one gap. This is our closing side. Closing side, and then we have the reverse order. Reverse order, that is our F bar. F bar, this is our example for polygon box. Then you have to make it as this E bar, sorry, F bar. F bar is equal to A bar plus B bar. Plus C bar plus D bar plus E bar plus E bar. Rs we can write as A bar plus B bar plus C bar plus D bar plus E bar minus F bar is equal to zero. Why minus we took here? It is in the reverse order. This is not reverse order. Then we move to the question number two. Question number two. Find a bar plus b bar. Find a bar plus b bar. Find a bar plus b bar. If a bar is equal, if a bar is equal, a i plus four j, a i plus four j plus two k plus two k cap. And B bar is equal. They give B bar also like 2i plus j, 2i plus j plus 3k cap plus 3k cap. See here we give two vectors, a bar and b bar. They are asking to find out a bar plus b bar. Solution. Then a bar plus b bar. Here a bar is equal and b bar is equal to vectors. Now I am writing here a i plus 4j plus 2a plus one more 2i plus j plus 3k. These are the two vectors. Okay? Now how we are you know we can add variation like I can I can I I can write it on here. I can write it, which is equal eight plus two into I can plus four plus one into J can plus two plus three into K. This the final answer is nine I can plus five J can plus five K. This is the answer. And we move to the question number three. Question number three. If two vectors A bar and B bar in same direction, if two vectors, two vectors A bar and B bar and B bar are in same direction, are in same direction. Same direction. Same direction. Then they result in these. Then, then they they result in certain is dash. Okay. Now solution for this. They only give two vectors A bar and B bar. They both are showing the same direction. First of all, you select, uh, draw a given vector. This is our A bar. The one more vector is our B bar. See here, there are two vectors on the board. What is the difference? What is the same? Both are showing the same direction, but their length, which means magnitude, is different. Then, in this situation, how can we have two vectors lift the B vector B bar, lifting the vector B bar, and Coincides the tail of the B bar. 
with the head of the A bar, which means I am joining you. This is A bar. Now, how I am lifting the B bar vector, which means such that the tail of the B vector joining to head of the vector A bar. This now the new vector gives the addition of this A bar and B bar. That's why I am using one C bar. Of course, the direction is what? Like individual A bar and B bar. In what direction? This uh, C bar also having same direction, showing same direction. But length of the uh, vector increases. That is what? Uh, that's why we are adding the magnitudes. C bar is equal to A bar plus B bar. This is what? Addition of two vectors acting in same direction. Then we are going to question number 4. If two vectors A bar and B bar in opposite direction, then there is results. Then the resultant is if two vectors, if two vectors A bar and B bar are in opposite direction, opposite direction, opposite direction. Then they then they resultant then they resultant is then they resultant is dash. Okay? Now solution for this one. Again issue to vectors. This is A bar. Now for this they said one opposite direction. That's why I am taking one more vector. This is what B bar. Now what we should do here? I am drawing as usual as it is this A bar. If this is B bar, which means we have to subtract. Subtract means what? Opposite direction according to negative vector definition. Opposite. Of course, same in the magnitude, opposite in direction. That's why we can subtract. The remaining portion of the A bar. The remaining portion of the A bar, which gives what? A bar minus B bar. Here, length of the vector A bar is greater than the length of the vector B bar. That's why here, what is the resultant of these two vectors acting in the opposite direction? That is A bar minus B bar. The direction of this A bar minus B bar is along the direction of larger vector. Along the direction of larger vector. And magnitude is less than this A bar. That's why therefore we can write this new vector I am getting. That is what A bar minus B bar. This is the answer for this question. Thank you. Have a nice day.